Yo, what's up, manga fans? This is Reese here from C Manga, and I'm joined with Raphael. Yo, what's up? And it's finally out, so here is the review of Hajime no Ippo, chapter 1010, Cooking Fish Made Easy. So, Raph, man, what do you think of this chapter? It was good, didn't it? It was one of those, you know, those typical um, slash life chapters where there's like a bit of comedy, a bit of seriousness, and basically filler, but good filler, none of the less, so... Um, you know how it is in it it's like Ippo uh, slice of life chapters they're never really dull dull but they're always funny there's always points that make you crack up it's like my favourite one to this day had to be I can't even remember what chapter it is but it's one where they find a dirt track in a training and then (laughs) Takamura tries to make people everyone stand in his shit (laughs) oh that was (laughs) to this day that is still the funniest slice of life chapter (laughs) That one was hilarious, and that was a good while ago as well. <laughs> exactly. But anyway, we digress. Cooking fish made easy. Raph, man, what kind of stood out to you in this chapter? Um, well, definitely the. I would say the first panel. You might as well say the whole newsroom part was like one of the key points of this thing. I mean, Vogue finally gets recognition, man. The guy freaking deserves it. He has a nice, um, big front cover of him, or photo, sorry, of on the front cover of the magazine, and it's like, um. He looks like a bad boy in that car. Yeah, like, go lie. <laughs> yeah, he looks sick. He's got his belt on. And I remember one of the guys even said that he, uh, what was it? He's striking a um, lean pose or something <laughs> yeah. like that. Uh, yeah, the chick's just like, oh, yeah, he's quite handsome, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. The guy's just like, yes, he is. I don't, even I would get taken <laughs> a like to him. It's like, <laughs> pause. <laughs> yeah, because I can't, um, what's her name? Is it um, Imura or something? Yes, Mary, that yeah. is it, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I was just remembered she she was like i know she's on ipa but she was like oh um i had to resist falling for him that bit made me laugh because i was like <laughs> but um yeah on on to seriousness yeah um what's it he's finally getting recognition from japan because they had interviews with him and they said he's really chilled out and quite friendly and they said regardless of his time in japan he said he's um very fond of it and they asked um I can't remember what they was asking about his rivals in Japan. He's like, I hope I never meet them again because I I don't think I'll win against them. They'll end up destroying me. And that's just saying something right there, man. Because obviously he's talking about Ippo and Sendo. Yeah. They're exactly. like, wait, they they're like, yeah, the only two he really fought, innit? it? You only that really had three end. fights when he was in Japan. Yeah. Well, they were the major ones, anyway, as far as I remember. No, yeah, no, three. It was oh, one yeah, against Japan, Ippo, yeah, 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 one yeah, against yeah. Um, Sendo. Then the one yeah, before that right. was against that guy who he just ended with a white fang. Yeah, you're right, you're right. I forgot about that, yeah, because all the other fights were outside of Japan, so... Yeah. Mm. But, but damn, man, what that actually means for them guys. <laughs> that means they got to step up because he's at the world stage now, and and this is, as um they were all saying now, everyone's kind of moving onto the world stage. So, um as they um, stated, Ippo's given up his belt. So yeah, he's... You know what I mean? He's been holding on that for time. He's basically stated that he wants to see how far he can get. And that's kind of um, going to cause some um, activity in, what was it, the uh, light, not lightweight, um, featherweight, oh, sorry. Because yeah. you've got, um, not only have you got um, Ippo making movements, you've got Sendo as well, who's um, another prospect, and um, Miata. Exactly, man. All the, of them are ranked top yeah. 10 in the world. And he's OBPF ch- um, champ, isn't he? So, yeah. And what does that leave? That's another thing. It means Itagaki can get his hands dirty and go and swipe up the um, Japanese um, featherweight title for himself. Is it, so, this is the part here which is a bit like, you know, kind of a bit weird. It's like, I see, it makes sense, obviously, like the reason why Ippo's kind of weak, you know. Like, I know mm-hmm. comments last, comments on the last chapter, everyone's just like, oh yeah, how's Ippo so weak in that? It's like, it makes yeah. sense, you know. He's kind of been like, really comfortable in the Japanese, in like, you know, the Japanese ring. He's had no challenge, really, isn't exactly. it? He's like, it's like the last proper, proper hardcore challenge he had was probably Wally because, Wally, can he nearly, you know, he, he nearly guy, lost. yeah, because like Wally was just completely unpredictable, you know, something he's never ever kind of faced against. That wasn't even boxing. Yeah. Wally was... wasn't even boxing, to tell the truth, but he was just like, Jumping about and flicking him. Well, as they said, it was like a jungle for him because he was just swinging on. <laughs> yeah, he was. He was swinging on ropes and all sorts like this. Um, and Ippo even said if he was to fight him again, he would lose. He straight it? up said that. So, so yeah, yeah he, he needs that kind yeah. of challenge, is not it? He needs a better challenge, and so, especially on the world stage, man. He's going to be facing actual boxer boxers 
who are probably going to be uh, on a new level. Exactly. I can't even. What was the guy's name? I know he's ranked second. Um, I have to go and look for this now. <laughs> um, hold on. I've got. I've got. I've got. Yeah, Gonzalez. Yeah, and from what they're saying, it's like, oh, to pick him as a warm up. Like, wow, really? But it's like, um, you can't expect any less from Kamagaya because you know how that guy is. It's like. He, yeah, exactly. he as much as protective as he is over his trainers, man. He he he's rough on them as well. He has to, but it's for their own good, isn't it? Exactly, man. He needs it. Because <laughs> if anything, this is like throwing him into the lines. Then he needs to be prepared if he wants to um, take the title. And we know who's at the top, isn't it? Is that the Ricardo Martinez? Yeah, and we saw what happened last time. Um, <laughs> they had a little spa. He couldn't it even touch him, no matter what well. he threw. <laughs> it did not end well. So, yeah, um, I think that's probably one of the main things for that. I'll get to the next point in a minute. Is you know what? Next Hippo point. Needs to, he needs to level up, innit? He needs to get back to his fighting fitness. Obviously that, man, but that's like, you know that. We just know that one's coming, Obviously, man. Obviously, it's going to happen, innit? But well, from just... this chapter, man, the part was just a bit like, wow, is that, like, you know the part was with his mum? Yeah, because obviously yeah. she's never seen any one of his matches, and he's been boxing for like how long in Mangi years? I'm not even sure. Uh, I think six, it's been about seven, six, five, six years, I think. Exactly, man. All that time he's been okay. champion for how for like at least two, three years. Wait, she hasn't seen a single fight, and she hasn't she seen a single she re- one. She refuses to as well. She said as long as he's healthy. Exactly. So it makes sense. Obviously, you know, like you don't want to see your children getting the shit beaten out of them mm. every time, you know. <laughs> Especially the way Ippo fights, because come on, man, look at that it. That guy, we never. Heard There's only one time he's ever had a clean fight, and I can't even remember who that guy was. Oh, yeah, the guy who pissed him off, and he just finished him off in one strike. Not that one. Like literally, there was one before that, um, where he kept, um, he kept pivoting, and he was basically corner, cornering the guy, and he completely knocked him up before. Oh he didn't God, even get yeah. Touched. Remember, and I said that was, that was probably for me the most, um interesting and my favorite fight because he actually just used tactics rather than well he does use tactic but you know it was less aggressive it was less of a more rushing head first yeah. and beat the crap out of the That's other guy <laughs> just kept pivoting making the guy um falling into his trap and that was keeping him in the corner so yeah i can understand as you said you can understand why she doesn't want to see him fight but still though i wonder how he would actually react if his mom was at a match you know, because like he might end up becoming a completely different person, knowing that she's watching. Mm. So maybe it is a good thing. What do you see? We mean like what worse or better? No. He might become more conscious of what he's doing, you know, because obviously he's like trying to pay attention to her or something. Oh, I see. So you know, what I mean, he might end up being in two minds. So I know yeah. usually once he gets into the ring, you know, he's in game mode. Mm. But still, it's like you know, whenever he's around his mum, it's completely different. It's true. It's true. You now people act different around their parents and stuff. Yeah, that's that's it's true. What kind of reaction would that would that affect his fighting in the ring? I said that would be interesting to see. Maybe that might be the actual one of the reasons as well. She, you know, subconsciously she'll think I don't want to be there. She'll distract him. Yeah, as a distraction. Could be, could be. And she might actually be lying. She might have actually watched these fights on TV. You don't know that. Exactly, man. It's like it's never really been stated. It's like exactly. I think in one match they've showed they've like cut to a panel of her like sitting there and she's just like looking at the time and she knows this time and she's just smiling. Yeah. So I don't know. Maybe she's maybe well, she might see highlights and stuff or read yeah, about it or something. Can it? I mean, one day if I just finds a stack of magazines with him in it. Yeah. You know, Probably that's a little kind it. of like way she's been following him. <laughs> yeah, I could see that happening. Um... So what what was yeah there was another point we were talking about before this was um Mashiba. He's, uh, yeah, he's, remember he's in the same weight class now as Bulk and from what they're saying is he wants to challenge the world stage as well. So I swear wasn't it no I swear he's already at the world stage isn't it? He moved well, on like literally after wasn't he got it, banned. Wasn't it title fight or whatever it was? Yeah, that's he's moved, he yeah, wants a title fight. That's what I meant to say. So yeah, title. So um Vogue versus Mashiba. Exactly. That is going to be a filthy, filthy battle. Disgusting. <laughs> that would, I'm telling you, that is would be so interesting, man, because as much as I love all these other fights, like, you know, with new characters, like, it is interesting once in a while to see characters you know exactly fight each other just to see, like, how strong the other person is or how much they've changed. Exactly, because Mashiba, man, even though he kind of, like, 
you know, has that one frame of mind, the guy is still crazy. He's called yeah. he's not called a Grim Reaper for no reason. No. <laughs> Hitman style. Bush. Exactly, man. For all we know, he's, he's learned some crazy ass new techniques. Mm. You know, started to respect his trainer a bit more to actually kind of break out of his comfort zone. I think he's li- I think he's lightened up anyway because he's um, his sister in it. K- um, was it Kumi? Kumi, yeah, that's it. Kumi. She she's even said that after Ippo beat him, he's changed. And I'm guessing after that, um, you know that fight when he got banned. I'm guessing he oh, must have changed yeah. after that. Definite. I think he's probably you know as you said become a bit more respectful. That is that is going to be a crazy ass fight. Yeah. Yeah, man, final point in this chapter is probably the little slice of life bit at the end, which... <laughs> oh, that was hilarious, man. You could probably tell already we found hilarious Ippo and Kumi cooking fish together. Little romance. <laughs> uh, Ippo got no game. That guy, he's such a perfect though, at the same time when he does that nose twitching thing. Like, <laughs> he's like, Kumi in her apron, Kumi in the apron. <laughs> I mean, man, the girl's just there laying it all out on a plate for him, and he's just like, he's scared to, t- he's scared to nibble. I would be as well. <laughs> you see, remember who his brother, her brother is? Oh snap! Yeah, I remember. He was like, oh, at the end, he's like, I smell something fishy. <laughs> he's like, right up, no, something stinks. That's it. Yeah, and he's standing outside the apartment. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, if he breaks in, that is going to be funny. Of course, is it gonna be like you know, um, like that episode when he was there drinking coffee, and he's like, "Oh yeah, maybe I can beat your brother," and he was right behind him. And <laughs> he pulled off that face, and he was like, "Simose, simose." <laughs> Ippo, man, the guy is funny. It's like, come on, he's already beaten much, but how many times? He's beaten him at least once before, so he should be all right. Maybe not now. <laughs> You'd think uh, he'd be all right. Yeah, he he probably be able to handle him. <laughs> You'd think. Well, yes. who knows, man? <laughs> but yeah, um, that's pretty much all I could. What, as I said, the main points in the thing, because we did have that little, um, you know, the bit on the fishing thing, and he's holding all the cases, and everyone's like, "Oh, champion, champion!" He's like, "I'm not gonna be champion anymore because I'm giving up my belt." Exactly, it just proves and, that he is now ready for it. Yeah, which is I good. Think, I think you know what it's kind of. I'm not sure if you mentioned this before, but I think him holding the belt was like a kind of safety blanket for him or some sort of comfort because he. I don't know. It just seemed like he, he held on to that for a time, like for a really long time before he decided, "Am I ready to go to the stage, world stage yet?" It's true. Even, he was, and even then, he seemed a bit weary. He still is, man. He just yeah. needs to kind of like you know buck up figure out that like, he is actually strong enough come on he's like ranked what third mm. is that third or fourth in the world so he just needs to get on with it man exactly guy needs to stop just like friggin sucking his thumb and get out there he needs to get his confidence on because he said he didn't get there from luck for luck sorry or with luck exactly he got there because he's a badass exactly trained hard that's the whole point of this manga so i'm guessing obviously that will happen again you know those cheesy things he gets his resolve and then he <laughs> Uh, I don't even know. That's uh, that's another well, thing. I that's probably if... what will happen <laughs> next couple of chapters. Yeah. We'll probably end up talking to Mashaba, and that's how he'll get his resolve. Exactly. Probably cuss him saying, "I don't, I don't, I don't want anyone in my house like this." Exactly. So hopefully, good things happen. <laughs> mm. So yeah. Um, so yeah, the tran- yeah, the translator said they're back. So hopefully, we get some more in it. <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> So yeah, guys, you'll be seeing some more Ippo the second it is literally uploaded. The day it's uploaded, you'll see the reviews coming up. Mm. So yeah, it's not dead yet. <laughs> <laughs> Pray not, man. Uh, so, man, there you have it, guys. How do you mean Ippo 1010? Uh, God, tongue twist. Did you just say 1010? 1010. <laughs> uh, pun intended, yeah, okay. No, I'll stop, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> good little slice of life chapter. We're happy with it. Got a good few jokes out of it. But, you know, the usual guys, what do you think of it? Let us know in the comments below. And, yeah, are you super excited for this? Are you super excited for the little fight coming up, hopefully, between Vorg and Mashaba? Because, hell, we are. Mm, so, yeah, you know, the definitely. usual guys, if you enjoyed the video, give it a little thumbs up. It really helps the series. And we will catch you soon.